What up, family? Welcome to your card of the day. I am La Santera, and today is Tuesday, October 15th, 2019, and your card this morning is The Lovers. This is a major arcana in the deck. And the message on the message about the lovers from this Native American tarot deck is Native American courting and sexual mores varied greatly from tribe to tribe. Among the Papago of Southern Arizona, girls were not allowed to even speak to male unless he was a relative, whereas Natchez girls amassed dowries with presents from their many lovers. Most tribal customs, however, were of middle ground with chaperone dances, outings, and picnics. Flutes, which were much like the European recorder, were required, were acquired from a medicine man in the hopes that the maiden for whom the young brave played would stop and listen. If a girl liked the looks of a young man, she would find out more about him from his female relatives in her peer group. In most tribes, the girl was the aggressor and she would let a boy know he was liked. At a dance or in a grove where he nonchalantly played his flute, she would gingerly kick at his moccasin. The lovers are in a grove of oak and willows, trees of strength and supple beauty. A full moon lights up the way. The maiden holds an empty bowl that waits to be filled. She listens to the melody of a flute played by a young brave who leans against a tree, a blanket over his shoulder. This card is the epitome of the old axiom. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. The contradiction of anything is implicit within itself and it's necessary and is necessary for universal equilibrium. The plan of creation is perfect here, but the nature of that creation is blurred and can take any form. It is dependent on the influences most prevalent on inception. Aside from um, the story about the lovers in Native American um, culture and how um, folks were courted, I'm going to focus more on our actions and our reactions and how we are responding to this full moon in Aries energy and this hunter moon energy and the things that we are being called to create. A lot of my messages lately have talked a lot about balance and equilibrium. And so how are we moving, right? When I think about the lovers, the lovers is a card of relationships, right? New love, soulmate, new relationships. But for me, the lovers is also represented represented as the thing that we love, our passions, our projects. I like to shift things. So when I think about, it's not one, it's not one way of looking at the lovers, right? In a deck. Because the obvious is a relationship is coming. We're looking at our relationships. Are they balanced? Are they equal? Are they respectful? Are they lifting? Are they nurturing? Are we getting what we need in that relationship? For me, I'm thinking about all relationships, right? And the people that we love. But mostly, I am focused on that self-love. How are you loving the self? How are you coming to this place of... Um, authenticity and standing in that authentic self and not being a carbon copy of anyone of not wanting anything that someone else has what do you love about you what do you love about the work that you're doing what are you what are you loving right now and if the response to that question is we're not really sure 
then we're being called to tend to that, right? There is a plan. We are in perfect alignment with our plan. So right now, if you're feeling blocked and uncertain and you, and you just don't know, that is all part of the plan because you're being called in this moment to maybe slow down and look at what it is that you're loving about your life. And so, before we can get into the, this idea of lovers and finding partnership and all of that, how are we in partnership with ourselves? Family, that is your message. That is your reading for today. I love these decks because there's an energy, there's, an, there's a different energy rising for me that's very in tune to, uh, I feel very connected to the images of nature. Like, I feel for me that the majority of these cards are set outside. Yeah, I'm, I'm scrolling through, uh, other than being, you know, a couple of images inside of um, a teepee, um, the truth is that we're being called to step outside, to step outside of ourselves, to step outside of our comfort zones, to do something uncomfortable, playful, joy-filled. What do you love? What do you love, family? That is your message. Those are your, that's your meditation, things to think about. Family, I'm wishing you a beautiful day. Please leave your thoughts in the comments. I want to know how this message is resonating with you, how you're feeling, right? I want to know what's going on. What's going on? What's going on with you? Let's check in. And if you'd like a reading, please hit me up, lasantera.nyc at gmail.com. Peace.